Why you should be found, it, it, it may sound obvious to a lot of you, why you should be found online, but most of you, most of the people I talk to in the beginning of doing search want to be found for one thing. Any guess as to what it is? Their brand name. Well, you know what? I couldn't care less about your brand name in most cases, unless it's Apple, or unless it's the product you're selling that people know. So let me take you back a bit in this world. Marketing is this. It's talking to other people, getting what you want. So Yost, can you tell us a bit about how you got into online marketing? Um, yeah, so uh, I used to be a web developer uh, for three, four years. Uh, then went into sales and did sales for a while. And at a certain point in time, I thought, hey, there's a there's a there's a conversion here, a conversion here w with uh, development and sales, and that's actually online marketing. It's the, the technical side and the sales side of the business coming together. So I, I went into that mostly into SEO and then broadened up uh, because my clients were asking for more than just simple SEO. And uh, yeah, it went from there. So Joost, at what point did you become a global authority on the subject? I started blogging in 06 uh, and made the wise decision at that time to start doing that in English, even though it's not my native language. And um, well, I, I was at the right point in time, I guess, to, to do what I do. So I blogged about SEO mostly and then was invited by a couple of guys uh, uh, around the world to do guest posts on some blogs. Um, then got invited by SEO Moss, which is probably the biggest SEO blog in the world, to, to in, in, be in a couple of their uh, research projects. And at the same time, um, got friends with a couple of UK uh, SEOs, most notably Dave Naylor, who uh, helped me, uh, yeah, introduced me to quite a few people. And then, well, from then on, it was more about the who you know than the what you know. Uh, and it grew from there. Okay, so how did you get involved in the event with Doug? Um, well, <clears throat> Mark, who you've seen today, uh, actually uh, said to Doug at a certain point in time when they were searching for a speaker on both WordPress and a speaker on SEO, like, there's a guy who can do both. And Doug gave me a phone call. And the phone call was nice, and he, he explained the project, and I thought, well, this is cool, I'll do it. And we basically rolled from there, so it just... Uh, uh, it went really smooth and simple, really. One phone call, two weeks later, I was in London preparing the, the entire thing with them, and three months later, I was on a plane to Manchester and Sheffield. If you need to know where the windmill is, you just ask and people will point this to you. We actually have a few of those in Holland. I don't know if you actually know what it is. But the world became bigger, and we got these annoying things like yellow pages and radio and television, all these things that don't talk back. So the web came along, and we're going back to basics. Because Google is talking back at you the minute you start typing. Now, I made this slide a couple of days ago, and then it was only this. But you may have seen yesterday that Google released that they're now not only doing this, they're giving you the results instantly for what you're typing in. So if you type, how do people search, Google will instantly give you the results before you've even pressed the search button. Why does Google do that? Because it thinks it will save you an average of two seconds per search action, amounting up to 11 hours of work being saved every second on Google.com, because that's the amounts of searches that happen on Google. And what are the people here like? I mean, how has their reaction been to your talks? Um, well, the people, basically two groups, Doug's team, which is absolutely awesome team running the event. I've never seen anything as smooth as this and well rehearsed. Um, and the guests or us and these have just been yeah, phenomenal. It's, it's very, really cool to be able to help people in, in the course of two days to really get uh, their business on an, an, another level uh, uh, regarding the internet. It's it's, it's insane the stuff the progress that I've seen some people make it's really cool and from your point of view what are you trying to instill into business owners here listening to you I think my single most important message to them is that they don't get to determine what uh, 
what their product is, people will tell them what their product is and what they're searching for. So you, they don't get to say what the name of the product is. The name of the product is, is the, the word that people search for in Google and that they should be focusing on that and using that everywhere they go. And that seems quite a shock for some people, but it, and on the other hand, it, it seems to help them as well. So. Okay, and for anyone out there about to start a business, what is the one piece of advice you'd give to them? Uh, if you're going to build a website, um, build it on WordPress and start thinking about, okay, what would, what would people be searching for if they want to find what I sell? And then start building a website around that. And use, the, use their language and not your language and get rid of as much fluff as you can and just go from there.